Hi, I'm Simon from Silly Create, and today in this video, we're just going to be going over the differences between tin cure and platinum cure silicon. Before we start, let's just go over some naming terminology. Platinum cure is often also called addition cure silicon, and tin cure is sometimes called condensation cure silicon. In this video, also, I'll just be making a, a couple of molds just with our condensation cure, tin cure silicon. I'm just going to do a couple hundred grams just for these small little test molds that we're doing today. I've got my scales and a bowl set up here. All right, I've got 201 grams. This stuff is a little bit thicker or more viscous when you compare it to the Platinum Cure. Both of these are 20A Shaw hardness, but yeah, with this one being a one part uh, or, or one part with the, with the catalyst, it is a little bit thicker to pour. If we just go into sort of the general differences uh, in the workflow. So with the Tin Cure, obviously you've got a large amount of the silicon and then you mix it in with a catalyst. Generally, the catalyst is mixed in at around 3%, though it depends on sort of the brand and the model. Uh, it can be anywhere from sort of 2 to 5%. While on the other hand, for Platinum Cure, you've got, say, 1 kilogram is made up of 500 grams of the A and 500 grams of the B. You mix these together in a 1 to 1, and that is what cures your silicon. You might sometimes also have it where it's not 1 to 1, it might be like 1 to 10. But generally for Platinum Cure, the standard configuration is a 1 to 1. That's all of the ones that we currently sell and a lot of the other ones out there on the market. If we talk a little bit more about why they're named the way they are, tin cure silicons use a tin salt as a catalyst, whereas platinum cure, as you may guess, uses a platinum catalyst in order to cure. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead now and add in our catalyst. This stuff you wanna use at about 3% by weight. And so I'll go ahead now and add six grams. We include these syringes in our kits. This just makes it way easier to pour out small amounts uh, than trying to pour them out of these bottles. You get mess everywhere and it's really hard to get an accurate amount. So we've got about six grams in there now, and I'll just mix it up like you would with the Platinum Cure. You just wanna make sure that you incorporate all of the catalyst. Now, if we just talk about the actual sort of curing process and some of the byproducts that are released. So the Tin Cure silicons release uh, ethanol during the curing process. This ends up on the surface of the finished pieces. This can be washed off with just some warm soapy water. Whereas Platinum Cure silicons, they release uh, no byproducts during curing, and they're very stable once cured. This also means that you'll see skin safe and food grade Platinum Cure Silicons, you won't get this with Tin Cure just due to the byproducts that are released. Now, I guess the other big difference is cure inhibition. This is where silicon fails to cure against a surface. Generally, this is the surface in contact will have a sort of gummy or uncured uh, layer. And Platinum Cure is very sensitive to a wide range of different uh, chemicals. Before you do any sort of Platinum Cure mold against a material that you haven't used before, we recommend Googling just to make sure that Platinum Cure is compatible. Tin Cure, you pretty much have no cure inhibition. It cures against almost everything. I think this is all mixed up. Next point, shrinkage. Shrinkage occurs with both uh, during curing. Tin experiences greater amounts of shrinkage during and after curing. And typically you'll get shrinkage of about 0.3%. Whereas with platinum cure, there's barely any shrinkage. It's usually around 0.1% and it's incredibly stable once cured. Now here's a big point, Tin Cure is a lot cheaper and it's a lot more resilient to cure inhibition. We sell one at the moment, it's this one, the Condensation Cure 20A. It has a mixing time of between 30 and 40 minutes and it sets in sort of nine hours. And it comes with the catalyst of course, and the, the little syringe. And it's a fair bit cheaper than our Platinum Cure silicons. 20A, we generally recommend this is a good hardness for general candle making, sort of molds for resins. If you look here, this is one of our sort of sample blocks of the 20A. As you can see, it's, it's sort of not too hard, not too soft. It's got a good amount of flex for when you want to remove objects, but it's not so soft that, say, if you're making candles and you pour in your wax, it won't start losing all of its shape. That's why we went with stocking the 20A in our Tin Cure silicon. To wrap it all up, Tin Cure silicons do release byproducts, and that means that they won't be skin safe and uh, won't be food grade. They also don't last quite as long, but they do cure against everything, and they're a lot cheaper. If we compare that with Platinum Cure, Platinum Cure can be food grade and skin safe. The molds do last a bit longer, and in my opinion, it's a bit easier to work with with the one-to-one -one mixing ratio. It does, however, cost more, and you can have issues with cure inhibition depending on what materials you're molding against. So which one should you pick? Generally, we're gonna recommend the Tin Cure for just sort of general molding, like if you're making an epoxy mold or a candle mold, all that sort of stuff, where food grade or skin safe requirements are not really necessary and you're just looking for an affordable option. 
We're generally going to recommend the Platinum Cure in any sort of application that requires the silicon to be food grade or skin safe, or where you need a mold that lasts a very long time. We also just recommend using it if you just want sort of a bit of an easier silicon to use. And cure inhibition is probably something to think about here. If the material that you're going to mold against has any sort of risk of causing cure inhibition, then you're probably better off going with the tin cure. I hope you got something out of that video. Uh, please let us know if you've got any feedback or ideas on what you want to see in the future, just in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And yeah, check out our website. We sell this sort of stuff. It's sillycreate.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.